Once upon a time in the project. My one place of refuge. Request facial identification. Welcome, Thurgood. And hello to you, Halle 9000. What's your pleasure today? A nice cold 40. Mm, I'll take the domestic Milwaukee. Excellent choice. And now something for your reading pleasure. Um, I'm not in the mood for reading. I just want to take a load off. As you wish. Ah, thank you, baby. Got it! Are you down there? Play a hater alert! Shut down! Shut down! <laughs> there you are! Oh, I don't know why you're always in here. It's so dank and dingy. We ought to do something with this place. Maybe fix it up as a rec room for the whole building. What? A rec room would wreck this room. And fixing up a rec room could cost a lot of money. I barely have enough to maintain my computerized beer cellar. You what? Did I say computerized beer cellar? I meant my pants. I can see you want to get back to reading your magazines. I just thought you'd want to see this letter from HUD. Let's see. T Stubbs, you already a winner. Report to HUD tomorrow at 9 a.m. and collect one of the following prizes. A 48-foot yacht, season tickets to hockey, or three scratch and win lotto tickets. Lottery tickets! Thank God I didn't trim my lucky scratching nail. Yeah. What the? Oh, no. Y'all are not getting a share of my lotto millions. Step off, super fool. Why would we need your millions when we gonna get our own? Hello, residents of Hilton Jacobs. I represent Litvak Industries, and we've called you fine people here to offer you the adventure of a lifetime. Ooh, we gonna go clubbing with Puffy? Not quite. You're gonna live outdoors without the luxuries of your homes for 40 days. 40 days? That's almost... 50 days! You'll camp in your courtyard like castaways and compete against each other until there is only one survivor. Now show them what they won't have. You won't have electricity. But wait, there's less. Say goodbye to running water. And as for these hair care products, well, my friends, you are ass out. So what's in it for us? I'm glad you asked. Our contest will be televised on a national cable television network with over <laughs> viewers. And the eventual winner will receive... Ah, here we go. Lotto tickets. Better. A grand prize of four hundred dollars. Goody, four hundred dollars. That's enough to take care of that thing. That thing we talked about last night? I can't believe it, Muriel! You're gonna get breast pigmentation! And it's not even Kwanzaa yet! No, Thurgood! The rec room for the children! Oh, I thought it might be a surprise. <gasps> a rec room?! Soap was gonna get us a rec room! <sighs> okay, mister. We'll play. We'll follow your rules, and we will outwit, outplay, and outlast each other until only the best of the best is left standing. I've only got one question. I can cheat, right? <laughs> Two weeks ago, Litvak Industries sent 11 residents of a government-subsidized housing project on the adventure of a lifetime. They leave behind their homes and all contact with the outside world. Their goal is to compete against each other and become the sole survivor.
survival in the hood is brought to you by Litvak Industries. Whether it's tobacco, toxic chemicals, or internet porn, we'll be there to give America what it wants when they want it. The tenants were divided into two separate tribes, one led by Muriel Stubbs, the other headed by her husband, Thurgood. We decided to name our tribe the Sun Tribe, since the sun gives us warmth, strength, and life! Yes. <laughs> I named my tribe Sanford, after Fred G. Sanford, a great entrepreneur, faithful husband, devoted father, and staunch enemy of Robert. Oh! Who better to inspire my tribe? Use it! Get back to work, you big dummy! I'm nude much of the time in my house. Just feels natural. It doesn't look natural. Come on, Super. It's been two hours. Mm. Where are we gonna sleep tonight? What are we gonna eat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! Everybody stop looking at me. I'm no good at this. I'm a man of ease and comfort. My idea of roughing it is sitting on the toilet without a magazine. Ha! I know who I'm voting on. Mm, people, please. The hood provides us with all we need to survive. Refrigerator boxes on high ground will keep us dry and allow us to repel any invasions. And when it comes to food, the free-range, organically grown meat is everywhere you look. <laughs> Smokey, I appoint you special assistant to the tribe leader. You're good at this game. Thanks, Super. What game? Welcome, Sanford and Son Tribes, to your first reward challenge. In front of each one of you is a plate of nasty-ass sushi, oysters on the half shell, and some shiitake mushrooms. Woo, boy. Just smelling this is likely to make me hurl, and y'all have to eat it. Well, I ain't eating this shiitake. Why can't we just eat bugs? Now, the first team to clean their plates will be allowed one hour in the building to do whatever they want. Plus, you get to chow down on a home-cooked meal of peach cobbler and grape Kool-Aid. Cobbler and Kool-Aid in my boiler room. Ready and go. Oh, come on, Turkey. You do it if you love your boiler room. And the Sun Tribe wins. I had a big lunch. And we'll put a bumper pool table here, and some bean bags, and maybe a little TV over there. If we all stick together, I know we can make this happen. Oh no! A boiler room! It's like Muriel's got an alliance of people behind this rec room thing. Well, two can play at that game. I'll get my own alliance. And the best part is, she'll never see it coming. I will crush you, Muriel. Do you hear me? I will crush you! What are you yelling about, Thurgood? Ooh, gotta go. Muriel's Rec Room Alliance is an evil thing which must be stopped. I need to start rounding up some votes. Get some friends on my side. Now water looks pretty heavy. Let me lighten the load for you. See that, Juicy? I'm always here for you. Who came running when you got stuck in that slurping machine? The paramedics. Yeah, but who called them? And now I need you to be here for me. Here's the plan. Every third night, after competing in a survival challenge, the losing tribe would hike 12 flights of stairs to the rooftop to take part in Tribal Smackdown, where they'd vote one of their own out of the projects. I'm voting for BB, because, well, you gotta pick somebody, and I do hate her. I'm voting for BB because me and the Super have a secret alliance. The tribe has spoken. BB, bring me your ceremonial 40. I don't want to hang with you trifling fools, no how! Haiti lady, you know, you gotta pick somebody. And I do hate her. Go Elias, get busy, it's your birthday! Haiti lady. On the third week, the remaining members of the Sanford and Son tribes merged into one. Muriel! Hello, Thurgood. I'm just so happy that after all this struggle and division, we can finally unite as one tribe with one goal. Uh, right, right. And the goal is? Well, the rec room for the children, of course. Of course! This game is all about the children. 
This isn't about secret alliances, or dirty backhanded alliances, or even sneaky brilliant alliances to undo the plans of others. It's two o'clock. Time for our secret alliance meeting. Alliance? Are you planning something that good? Muriel, I'm surprised at you. How could you even suspect such a thing? This is your husband, Thurgood O. Stubbs. And the O stands for honesty. I would never do you that way, baby. Oh, goody. Uzi J, don't ever talk about the alliance in front of other people day. So Muriel has her alliance, and we have ours. And we gotta get more votes for our alliance, and then we can kick Muriel to the curb faster than a black family at Denny's. But if we vote Mrs. Stubbs off, who's gonna cook, get fresh water, and remind me to take my medicine? I ain't had the heart to tell you, Juicy. She you lost your medicine. For the last five days, we've been giving you Tic Tacs. <gasps> Super! Your alliance team is sneaky, dishonest, and revolting. <laughs> Finally, you're talking my language. <laughs> Count me in. Ow! Oh, sorry. I stepped on your foot. That ain't my foot! Ooh. I wondered why you only had one toe. And the winner of this race will get this. Immunity from prosecution. Which means you can't be voted out even by a jury in Santa Monica. If Mira wins immunity, I can't vote her off. I've got to finish before Muriel. Well, that's never been a problem before. Why? Why? Quit your crying, Nancy boy. I think I pulled a hamstring! Oh, ham! Thurgood and Muriel are neck and neck as they head for the street loose. <laughs> now, our contestants must select the television from the inventory of local entrepreneur, Tarnail. Hey, this is my TV! And there's a little one from our bedroom! No, no, found him on the back of a truck. Now here, brother, let me help you. Oh, no. Uh, you know, Muriel, I can't wait until tomorrow. Why's that? Because I love you more every day. Oh, goody. That's beautiful. So what do you say we put down these TVs and walk to that finish line hand in hand, like man and wife? We'll share that immunity. Oh, well... That sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, she's the brains of the relationship. <laughs> so, Thurgood, rumor has it you set up an alliance. To that question, I plead the fifth dimension. Muriel? Which one of you heartless backstabbers voted off my wife, Muriel? My wife, Muriel? Not Sin pudding. You were supposed to vote for Muriel. I voted my conscience, and my conscience was pudding. Thurgood? What? Muriel? Thurgood. <laughs> well, that makes three for Thurgood, three for Muriel. One last vote. Muriel? <gasps> oh, no! Not my Muriel, please! Take me instead! That can't happen, right? Muriel, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> With Muriel Stubbs gone, her rec room alliance quickly began to unravel. <laughs> The tribe has spoken. Sanchez. Finally. As time wore on, morale got lower. Patience wore thin, and nerves were frayed. No! Avery, I thought I told you to guard the water. Sorry, I forgot. No! Stay away from the water! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, great! Now Juicy is forming an alliance with Sharik. I wanted to form an alliance. But she says she got hurt too bad in her last alliance. But well, she needs time to get over it. You know, I got to see her bra strap. <laughs> well, 
Chunky and Grumpy can no longer be trusted. It's a sad day when secret alliances shamefully forged in darkness are not respected. I refuse to be ignored like Danny Glover hailing a cab. I gotta start getting me some immunity. Hey! Open up! Ready? Pictures on a food stamp. I don't know. Mariah Carey, white or black? I don't know. Name a Spike Lee blockbuster. Oh. I don't know. All right, that was a trick question. <laughs> Congestion on the price is right. This is our last immunity challenge. Each of you must keep at least one hand on Babs at all times. If you let go of her, even for a second, you lose. The winner will decide which of the other two must leave. Good luck. Mm. Hungry must eat. All right, Avery, it's you and me. I want you to know I'm never letting go of this crackhead. The only way you win is if you pry my cold, dead hand off her. All you had to do was ask, sucker. She took her hand off. She took her hand off. <laughs> oh. Off. I win. I'm just glad that whichever one of us wins, we both gonna use the money to put in the new rec room. <laughs> What's so funny? What? Oh, uh, uh, just thinking about Cedric the Entertainer. White people say hello. Black people say, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Now you got one last challenge. Survive the other contestants. They will be voting for the person they feel should win the money. The jury will have a chance to ask you one question or make a statement. After that, you will have the chance to pay off the arresting officer, resulting in the loss of all evidence. Oops. <laughs> yeah, wrong card. Uh, you'll get to say your piece. Muriel, you wanted to go first. My question is for Thurgood. Is there anything you regret about how you played the game? No. There isn't anything you would do differently? No. Isn't there someone you would like to apologize to? Apologize to. Oh, uh, Muriel, you're right. I have wronged the one person in this world who has never done a single thing to hurt me. Cedric the Entertainer. I'm sorry. I unintentionally dissed you earlier, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Oh! Okay, guess my way. The closest guess will get my vote. Super? I don't know. 140? Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, I just have a statement. From the beginning, I watched you walk around trying to be everybody's friend, acting like you were innocent. It just makes me sick. If you were lying on the side of the road, dying of thirst, I wouldn't stop to give you a drink. I would pull out my shotgun. And then, I would make a necklace with your ears and toes. And then, after the rats had picked your bones mm -hmm. clean, and the flies had laid eggs in your eyes, and that's what I think about you, Calvin Banks. Mrs. Avery, it's me, Juicy. Oh, hi, Juicy, baby. How are you, darling? We've heard from those voted out. Now it's your turn, fellas. Tell them why it should be you who wins the loot. i like to win so we can put in a rec room. Because we deserve a safe place to keep us off the streets. Hmm. We are the children. Hmm. We are the future. And we could soar like eagles if grown-ups could only learn to understand us. Woo! Well, that was touching. But if TV has taught me anything, is that you must earn your enemy's trust in order to get over on them. <laughs> 
just like the pilgrims did to the Indians, and Diana Ross to the Supremes. So I say to you, if anyone deserves the money, it is I, the man who played the game with his mind, heart, and soul. Oh, and since I'm your super, if you don't vote for me, I'll have your butts evicted NAASAP. Wow. Thank you, and peace out. Well, let's do this. They're good. Juicy. Filthy super. They're good. Juicy. Juicy. And now for the final vote, which will determine the winner of $400 and a brand new Pontiac Aztec keychain. Third good. Congratulations, Third good. You are the sole survivor. I did it. I won. I cheated fair and square. Now I get to keep my boiler room and the $400 is all mine. Well, T, don't forget the government's going to take its share. Walter, please. I haven't paid taxes in 20 years. They haven't caught me so far, and I see no reason why they would catch me now. Uh, they screwed me over in the editing. I'm really not that bad a guy. Well, 15 days down, 15 days to go. Aw, oh, it'll go by fast. And I still can't figure out who ratted me out to the IRS. They haven't caught me so far, and I see no reason why they would catch me now. I don't see any reason either, Goody. Who wants to play bumper pool? I'll play. So does our fetish eat my pudding. Oh, <laughs> oh,